with Ellis McKinney after Maryland loses at Minnesota. So you played uh, about 55 minutes at center. I saw Johnny came in late. Mm -hmm. uh, what was your take on the offensive line play and what did Davis back at guard give you guys? Yeah, it just brings some stability to the offensive line. Terrence is this guy who's played a lot of snaps here at Maryland and can give us a lot of confidence up front. Um, I think the offensive line is tough. It's something we just have to. It's, it's a position where we just have to do our job and let the piece fall where it may. And up front and on the outside, we didn't execute today, and, and that's the story of the game: is us not being able to execute on first and second, and then on third down, getting in tough situations and giving them the ball back, and then not seeing the ball again for a while. So, Jackler's Law Group clients are happy clients, and here's why: our lawyers are experienced, hardworking professionals who fight until you win, and you pay no fees until we do. If you've been injured in a car, truck, or train crash, we meet you where you are and when you can. If you've been in a crash, don't wait. Call the big dogs now. Let us handle the insurance company so you can focus on healing. And you'll see why we were named the best personal injury trial law firm in the entire country. What's the difference? You guys start out with zone block at some point you sort of come off and mm -hmm. change that up. You better at the zone blocking or a little more at the man to man area block? That's based on based on play call on or yeah. based off of what they see up top. So it, it all depends on the looks we're getting. Maybe uh, they're a field under team and so with that look, we'd like to run into it, we'd like to run zone into it, but then you can't run zone every play. You know, it doesn't really always doesn't work like that. So we had to switch it up with a couple gap scheme plays here and there. Uh, how hard is it to hear the snap count? Uh, these guys were loud. I don't think they were. Uh, they were loud. loud. Um, it, so we actually, I run the snap count at the, the center, so uh -huh. we don't. It's not that difficult for our for off the front of here. We had a couple of miscues in what was that the second quarter, third quarter where we had a false start, but yeah. there should be no issues with the snap count for us. Yeah. How's Austin Fontaine? Progressing as a guard, he's starting to just learn, just learn how to play offensive line. That's something that's 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 been a tough thing for him. It's just switching over. He's got all the physical gifts to play. It's just him, um, just figuring out the little nuances to the position. So he's definitely starting to gain that the more playing time he gets. Uh, you got some run out of Spencer Anderson earlier in the year. Mm -hmm. Does he similarly fit in that? At some point, he's going to be a yeah. solid contributor. Yeah, definitely, definitely. These are all young guys. These are all 19 year olds who, at some point in time, are going to have to play big snaps for the turf. So it's really good that they've been getting this type of experience and and been and in practice been able to be ready to and prepared to play on Saturday. So today, Spencer's number didn't get called, but who knows next week it might. Thanks. I got it.